kind of a historical first, that the first time we gather a complete ecosystem of partners around robots. And when I say partner, it's um, uh, digital agencies, it's consulting companies, it's of course developers, designers, uh, graphical experts, uh, industry specialists. All these people are here to turn Pepper into a business solution. One of the original ideas behind the machine was to uh, get it to promote products in the shopping centers. But then, after we started talking to other organizations, we've learned that it can be used for other purposes as well. For instance, uh, one of the biggest successes, uh, success stories we, we've had was uh, a hiring of the robot by Moscow Technological Institute as a lecturer, so it's reading lectures to people. It's designed to help people uh, interact and um, it localizes people, interacts with them, and it's also a robot made for uh, service. So it can be present in uh, medicalized uh, institutes, um, walking around, going around, asking people what they need, uh, making sure they're okay, making sure they have taken their medication, and if not, then they can um, go and ask uh, the staff to come and help the, the, the patient. My name is Kelvin, and I'm supposed to help passengers find their flight details, such as living gate, their luggage, and so on. Application on my iPad to find the next. Uh, my name is Sasha. How are you doing? Sasha. Yeah. Well, what flight to Moscow? This helps people find their departure gates faster and not be late for their plane.
Nobody wants C-3PO, okay, because it's just this useless robot that talks. It's entertaining, it's fun, but George Lucas got that exactly right. The useful robot is R2-D2, the little thing with wheels that trundles around and does utility tasks. As a company, we're not interested in utility tasks, and we wouldn't pretend that a humanoid is good for utility.